What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel where I show you cool things in Fallout 4. In this video we will be discovering the legend of USAF Satellite Station Olivia. We are going to find a skill magazine, some mini nukes, a unique mini boss and some power armor bits. So let's go. The location is just east from Sanctuary. I'm going to be starting just north of it. Um, between the robotics disposal ground and the satellite station. You can see it in the distance over there, that's where we're going. But there are a couple of kind of strange things that I want to show you before we go over there. So first off is this crashed vertebird. And if we walk around here, we think we can actually get inside. And we can see a dead pilot who's crashed at the back of the plane and... There's no one else. There was actually a helmet here, but I came here previously and took it. Which, it doesn't really do much, it just gives you a little bit of protection. It looks like this has properly crashed into the ground though, or actually the wings fall on off here. So, as you can see, if you walk around here, there is ammunition scattered all over the place. Lots of um, resources that you can grab. But most importantly, is this. There's actually a suit of power armor here. And originally this, I think it was T-55 power armor on here? Um, there are two pieces on there, so you can grab that. And there's also this dead body next to it, which seems kind of strange. Like, maybe he was trying to run over here to the power armor to get in it. Or maybe he got out and just died. It just doesn't make sense. Like, why is he outside the power armor? But anyway, I mean, I could enter this, but I'm not going to use it for this location because I really don't need to. But I mean, these um, power armor exoskeletons that you use as a base for your armor, you can acquire multiples of them. And this is worth about 6,700 caps by itself. So definitely grab that. As I, as I said, the location just over there, but I want to show you something else very strange before we go over there. Because, I mean, if you wonder about the wasteland, just wander around and you'll find strange things, like this situation we have here. There's someone in a bathtub. She's got a lot of bottle caps, some food, um, okay, nothing else, a straw pillow. So she was sleeping in there, and there's also a cooler with some meds in it. And this case was locked, but there's some stuff in here as well. And also, even stranger, there's someone in this barrel. It is Trader, and this person is a settler. So I don't know if there's meant to be a connection here. She's got a Tato. Um nothing else useful in there but how weird is that i don't know if this is meant to be like an easter egg based off some kind of movie like someone dead with their one leg missing in the bathtub i'm not sure but let me know what you guys think in the comments anyway let's actually go to the location now now there are like three people standing outside um of the building at this location because there's like a massive um bunker underneath where this satellite stands but i did previously kill those people just to make this video a bit easier so i didn't get you know shot from far away when I, when I was trying to show you those other locations so we can just come inside this entrance here and there is a crappy little shack here which of course has a light a sofa and interestingly someone is putting a screwdriver in the toaster which is even stranger one of the other strange things we see in the wasteland are these mannequin dolls not so sure why there's one here there's also a baseball glove perhaps it was playing catch and if we come up this tower there is nothing really interesting up here apart from a raider that i've already killed and there's an ammunition box here. But um, we do obviously get quite a nice view of the surrounding forest. And this is quite a heavily wooded area of the... Oh, look. Can you guys see that over there? That's the Brotherhood's airship, I think. So we'll just jump down here. See if I can jump on this building. There we go. And then we're going to come inside here. Because this is where the main bunker is. So we've got the armor workbench, which we can of course use, which I don't need it. Uh, and we've got some jets, and uh, that's it. Nothing else useful in here. Where's my follower gone? I need him to carry some shit. And, okay, we'll go inside and he'll just appear miraculously next to me. 
There he is. Hello. I'm gonna trade with you now. Sure. Here's my supply. This gun is just so ridiculously long. I should probably give him a pistol, but um, yeah, no, we don't need to do that, do we? Right. So he's got all my crap now. I'm slightly lighter, so I can actually loot this place without being over encumbered. Watch out for this trap here, by the way, because that's a bit of a bitch. That basically explodes if you walk over it. So there are a few interesting things in this location. I'm going to turn off my light first of all. You can hack this terminal. I'm going to show you where the actual key is first. Oh, actually, I'll just hack it now and I'll show you where the key is later and then you can come back here. Um, let's see. So, oh, tries reset. I hate it when you get that first because it's pretty pointless. Uh, there's one, two, three words, so we can just guess them all and... Oh, there's another one here. Let's get that. And it can't exactly be the wrong one. This is right. There we go. Got it. Um, check in log. Let's have a look at this then. So, this was clearly a military base because it's all like sergeants and first lieutenants, whatever. Oh, Did you find uh, I, I was going to, but then I exited it for some reason. Daily briefings. SSO will be upgrading equipment in the coming months, but this does not mean maintenance duties cease. Continue normal work schedules. The lower storage rooms require fumigations for pests, specifically cockroaches. Oh dear. Extermination commences at 0900 25th of October 77. All personnel are required to vacate substation levels for duration of the procedure. Due to the high volume of signal intercept traffic, intel officers will, will be on site daily until further notice and will require access to the intel room. Okay, not very interesting. But we can of course open the door. Warning, access to the intel room strictly prohibited to intel officers and analysts and senior officers. Violators will be subject to court martial. Well, considering he's probably long dead, I don't think that really matters. So this is the room we just opened. And as you can see, there are some analyst bodies here and they're just corpses. There's also a US covert manual here, which you can get. And what does there that do? That permanently makes me more difficult to detect while sneaking. I actually have, um, I'm gonna make guides on where to get all of those manuals. And here we have a mini nuke. And if you haven't seen it already, I'll leave it in the description. I've already made a guide on where you can get a fat man very easily. You don't even need to kill anyone. It's actually quite ridiculous how easy it is. 50 bottle caps. That was a lot. Um, frag mine. Tactical calibrated pipe bolt Damn, action rifle. It's hard to breathe in here with all this. Close sighted light. Okay, pipe um, weapons are basically custom weapons and they're pretty useless unless you're a very low level, which to be honest, you could be if you're coming here. But um, mainly I use them for just breaking down into parts because they're not really worth selling to me anymore. Desk fans are all also useful for the... Um, oh, what's up? Oh, it's a novice safe, so I can actually pick this safe. Fancy that. There we go, that was easy. Sweet. Um, and we got some more gun rounds, pipe pistol. Just going to leave that there. I like how your followers actually sit down and chill out in the new game. They never used to do that. Cigarettes are always good to steal as well. And we've also got some Nuka Cola here, which I'm going to grab. And now we're going to carry on. It's going to get a bit dangerous, I think. So. What the oh, someone can hear me, I think. Oh god, that did not work. I thought that I'd shoot the dog, but um, I missed it completely. Okay, so they're looking for us now. Oh god, hello. She had a shotgun, or he did. Double barrel shotgun, take that. He um, He's just blown up the dog. There's actually a unique boss in this location, and he's got a minigun, and he's the only person I'm slightly afraid of because he might actually be quite powerful. I'm not sure. Oh, we have a toilet. Rather oddly, somebody has stuck a plunger into the toilet the wrong way round. It looks like someone's taken the poo in the top of the plunger. <laughs> How rude. Oh, there's some first aid here though, so let's grab that. Blood packs are actually pretty good in this game because you can use them, if you're a scientist at least, to make stim packs and other useful things like that. Who's there? Oh, I don't know. Who is there? Not me. Oh, I can see your leg. 
Who's out there? Gonna jump down here, I think. Oh god. Hello. Oh Jesus Christ. This is Ak Ak. She's the person with the mini bun gun. And she's already dead. That was pretty easy. Make sure you pick up her mini gun, otherwise, literally everyone in here. Oh shit! Is that a grenade? Oh no, it's just a Molotov. We're fine. We're fine. If you don't pick up her mini gun, everyone in here will try and pick it up and shoot you with it. So make sure you pick it up. I don't know where. The other enemy is. Apparently they're around here somewhere. They can find me. Oh, they're up there. No idea where she's gone. Oh god, hi. Now she's dead. Let's turn the pit my light back on. Um, gas mask with goggles, how exciting. Shotgun shells, we need that. We don't really need anything else. She's holding. Um, okay, how about you? Ak Ak, or Kat Kat, whatever her name was, doesn't actually have anything useful on her apart from a minigun and some ammo for that minigun. Um, apart from that, she's pretty useful. I mean, pretty useless, sorry, not useful. There is a military military grade circuit board there which you can grab, and that is very useful. Um, there's usually quite. Oh, here we go. Cigarette cartons. What was I going to say? Here we are. I wonder if any of There's actually a work. fusion core in here. Now, a lot of people have been saying, oh, I'll make a video of where you can find lots of fusion cores. And I can do that. I mean, I don't really have trouble finding them. I just scavenge around and I find quite a lot. But if you want me to, then I can do that. So let me know in the comments. But meanwhile, let's check out this terminal. Satellite dish status offline. I don't know if we can turn that on later in the game or not. But there's also... Database network is... Can't, oh, I can't. I'm connecting. But I cannot access it. Okay. Maybe I'll need to use that later in the game. I'm not sure. Anyway, there's another thing up here I want to show you. And then I'm going to show you where you can get that key for the door if you didn't have the science skill to unlock it. Um, oh, we can unlock the drug box. Let's do that. Ah, bloody hell. I don't know how lockpicks work in this game, but they seem to deteriorate over the course of you using them for a while. Yes. So if, for example, I damage that lockpick but still manage to open the lock, next time it would almost break in instantly if I put it in the wrong place. It's basically what I'm trying to say. Oh, uh, what was I going to show you here? There. Oh, there's usually some drugs in that box. So make sure you grab that. Um, okay, now we need to jump back down here. If I can. There we go. And come through this, not this door. It's the door where we killed all these people. Here we are, just here. Hmm. Vault Tech Lunchbox. These are always useful to take because. Oh! iBot model, that's cool. I've not seen that before. How exciting. But anyway, those um, lunchboxes are always good for crafting, for making bottle cap mines and things like that. Let's just. What are you going to quickly do get some bottle caps out of these lockers? I found the luck perk really useful for like looting things and getting like extra bottle caps. 15 bottle caps in a locker, like that's pretty good. If you are going around looting everything, you might as well have that perk. So now we're going to come into this room here, and you're going to take care here because there's a crap. Oh, a locket. What does this, does this actually do? I don't know why that happened. Anyway, take the duct tape. I'm going to unlock this door. There's going to be a shitload of rad roaches behind it. And if you remember, the guy said that there were lots of cockroaches down here. So those rad roaches have um, actually turned into cockroaches. I mean, cockroaches have turned into rad roaches. So what we're going to do is we're just going to shoot that. Oh, he's done it for me. He's pretty smart, isn't he? Preston, well done. Just shoot the... Uh, oh, shit! That was a big fucker. He was very big. Oh, it was a legendary Rad Roach. Assassin's Metal Left Arm. Ooh, okay. What does this do? Reduces damage from humans by 15%. Well, that's pretty useful for a Rad Roach, I guess. I was wondering why he was so fucking big. I was like, oh my god, it's so creepy. You've got this. Keep your cool. I was... Oh, God, there's another one behind me. Hello? Where are I? Oh, it's a, it's a tiny one. 
But I didn't even see where it was. So there's another wooden crate to unlock here. I was going to make a video on legendary creatures as a general guide, and for fuck's sake, I've broken another lockpick. It's somewhere around here. Okay, I'm just gonna set my time with this. There we go. Got it. Nice. And we got some more drugs and bottle caps. <coughs> Damn, it's hard to breathe in here with all this dust. All this dust, bro. Um. Oh, what is that? Did that just come out of his cord? I can't see a thing in here. I don't know where that went, but I believe it just took off. Intel room key. So that's what you use to open the room at the start of the video. Just go back there and you can now open it with that key. There's also an army helmet there you can grab. Doesn't look like anybody's been in here for a long time. No, it does not. An untarnished bucket. How exciting. An antique globe. Sounds like it might be worth a bit, but it's probably not. So that's pretty much it for this location. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. For more legendary locations, please make sure you check out the description of this video for the playlist. Or you can, of course, just subscribe to stay up to date with the latest guides I make too. But thanks again for watching, and I, ear so shall see you, loyal subscribers, in the next... Fallout 4 video. Goodbye.